Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, 24, and today I'll be taking a look at the 1 to 100 scale Master Grade Zeta 2.0 HD color version. As I mentioned before in the unboxing video, the reason I got the HD color version over the standard uh, Zeta 2.0 is because I got it from a merchant on Amazon, and their price hike was all of 25 cents more for the HD color version instead of the standard 10 bucks more. So I figured, why not? I'll go ahead and try this. And uh, I have to say that it's both a great master grade and lacking in certain areas. And uh, this is probably going to be the same for the uh, standard 2.0. So it's, it's not just for the HD color version. Um, but you'll see what I mean when we get further into the view. On the front of the box, you've got a nice shot of the Zeta in a cool action pose, and it's done in a style that kind of looks like um, a color pencil or like a, a rough sketch, and they just colored everything in. And uh, it's nicely detailed at the same time. And on the bottom of the box, you've got um, a shot of the model kit, and then information on the Blu-ray discs of the Zeta Gundam New Translation films, and there's the Zeta and Wave Rider mode. And there's the other side. All right, the back here, or the top rather, um, has information about the grenade launchers hidden in the arm, the mini characters you get, the uh, display stand, the weapons, and then a shot of the Zeta, both with the runners on the side there, and then the actual model built. And then, of course, on the side, you've got the uh, model again. For the instruction manual, you've got a similar shot as you have on the front of the box there, and as you flip it open to the first page, it's talking more about the DVDs and Blu-rays, and then you've got a shot of the um, suits, like an outline of it, and then telling you, you know, how to cut stuff off the trees and deal with the decals and whatnot. There's a list of all the runners and the display base, and then we start building from the head and body, and then the arms, which is a smart place to start because some other master grades start at the legs and then have you build up. For me, personally, I'd rather have the torso built first and then go around, base everything else off of that. So then you go on the legs un leg units and the waist, and then the stabilizer and the wing, and then the inside here, you've got more shots comparing the um, original series Zeta Gundam to the new film version. Nice shot of the Zeta firing his rifle. Um, you've got some shots of him transforming, and then again, more instructions, and then you get in the back here, um, this part here folds out to show the actual transformation process, step by step, and next to it, in the bottom corner here, it tells you where all the decals go, and that includes both the stickers and the water slides, and normally for Master Grade you get almost a full page worth of instructions of where those go. And grand, you have it up here with the wave rider and the weapons, you've got a nice big image of it. But down here, it's kind of cluttered and um, hard to read at some parts. So um, it's a minor complaint, but I wish that Bandai had made this a bigger page or maybe two pages so that they could cover everything without it looking so cluttered and messy. And then the back here is just how to attach the weapons when it's in Wave Rider mode. And the back here just has a shot of the Zeta Gundam's head when it's panel lined to show how much more detailed you can make it look just by doing that, and then a list of all the colors you would use if you are going to paint it. So here's the actual Zeta Master Grade 2.0, and if you'll notice I have it pretty close against the wall there, and the reason for that is simply because the model is pretty top heavy and back heavy, so it does tend to fall backwards, and getting an a good footing for it uh, when it's just standing by itself is kind of difficult and I think it's a really good idea that Bandai included a free stand for this that's specifically made for the Zeta so you really can't use it for any other uh, Master Grade Gundams but it's still a good idea they included that. So the colors you're going to get right out of the box are slightly different than on the uh, standard Zeta and it might be kind of hard to see from the camera here but there is a slightly glossy look to the plastic um, as opposed to the standard blue and red, and I'll compare those in a minute here with a different kit, but basically you're going to have this dark blue for the upper torso, the shoulders, the arms there. 
You're going to have red for the cockpit, the bits on the arms, the wings, the feet. You're going to have white for most of the lower torso and the legs, as well as bits on the arms. And then you're going to have what is a, uh, a very, very dark blue for the um, wings and the stabilizer fin. And then there's gray for the inner bits. And a little bit of yellow at these thrusters and then the V-fin itself. So I don't know how well you can tell on the camera here, but this blue runner from the Zeta 2.0 HD color version is slightly shinier than the uh, blue plastic used on the uh, Ailstrike Master Grade. Now there are a decent number of stickers on this kit, and I'm not going to point them all out because there are quite a few of them, but you can see some on the uh, front skirts here, some on the knees and the feet, and there's a couple on the... Um, cockpit there and then the arms and I like these a lot better on this kit than on most kits because of the fact that the other stickers you're given are water slide decals and although you can see a bit of an outline on the clear backing sticker that you put on his leg there um, it actually stays whereas these water slide decals don't stay at all um, it, even as I'm doing this review. I started off with a silver one wrapping around his leg here, and it just it fell off. I don't know where it went to. It's gone though. So I have to say that it, you know I think it was a good idea of Bandai to include something extra other than just the HD colors for this re-release of the Zeta 2.0, and they look really cool. But again, they are water slide decals, and honestly, I hate water slide decals with a passion. I feel like. Maybe they could have benefited from including both water slide decals and dry transfer decals of this style, so people who wanted one type could use that type, and people who wanted the other type could use another type. Now, aside from the clear back stickers and the water slide decals, you also do get the traditional foil stickers that come with most Gundams, and these are used for the eyes and the camera on the front of the head, as well as a camera on the back of the head. And then you also get these foil stickers for some of the yellow bits, uh, all over the body, such as the shoulder there, the arms, and then parts of the legs. Check back for part two, where I will go over the weapons and accessories, the action base, and the posability of the Zeta Master Grade, 